Now, live from Ernie's Cut Rate Liquor Store, Shooting Range, Candle Shop, Bowling Alley, Massage Parlor, it's the Dave and Doc Podcast. Hello, hello. Happy day, happy day. Happy New Year's Eve day. It is, yeah. It's, and we're back. And we're back. Gosh, we've been decimated, man. We, yeah, we took, uh, we took a little... It's like the 49ers. We did, yeah, we... we still we, winning, though. We're we still took, winning. We took a little time off, Sheesh. and we didn't mean to. No. Uh, we had, we, we did the show, you know, right after Thanksgiving. Yes. And, yeah. and then we had some stuff planned, and then, uh... I got laryngitis, which it, was bad. You got laryngitis. And uh, then you bought a truck. I bought a truck. Yes, that's right. Bought a truck. Bought a tr- little, little, bought a little. Um, then we got sick. We got we got hit with the unfortunately we got hit with COVID and strep, which was that was a bad combo for for my daughter and I. Um, and then and then my back and uh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. We've had, but we're back. It's so weird too. But we're back. Like uh, like a. It's been it's you know it's it's been a month. This is episode 37. Oh, by the way, I'm Dave. And, and, oh, sorry. It's, it's, is, we're sorry. so rusty. I know, right? We're so rusty. And, I, and I'm Doc. And I'm Doc. Uh, Still and, Doc. And, and you can view it and and view the view the podcast, hear the podcast, whatever. Just go to the website. I'm done giving you guys all these flipping platforms. Dave and that Doc. That was really com. good. Yeah, it's, it's Dave, you know, A-N-D, Doc, D-O-C. We're com. getting Just right to there. the point here. We're, Just go We're there. fired up. You know, like I said, lots of lots of good stuff. Where you know, everybody we, goes we, anyway. We've been it right. We've been embattled here for a little bit with different stuff. Hey, I know? do have something really quick here for yeah, you that's yeah, fun. Right, right, right. A little, little surprise for you. So, you know, like... Uh, I, do you I was, see the power tea? I'm just saying. I do. Just, I see the it. The orange tea. I'm just pointing that out I to our that. viewers at home. Yes. Um. So I had... Um. So you know it's 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 been about a month since we did the broadcast I know. and it's been and and I was telling Lindsay I'm like you know 7 days ago it was a degree outside 1 degree Yes sir yes and it's like 50 something today Yes and so I thought it would be yes. funny and you know uh, you know I forget that I have this stuff sometimes and magically <laughs> the first time that I walked outside to go back to my little shed when it was like a degree the he shed Yeah I actually have an audio recording of me stepping outside You do not Oh yeah you ready I'm oh my yeah So so I'm, I open up the I'm, back door I'm, I'm ready I walk out onto the gate you know walk out through the gate and uh, it's 1 degree outside and this is me Oh shit <laughs> <laughs> It's actually not me but <laughs> Wouldn't this be a great weather forecast? <coughs> oh, How cold is it going to be? Oh, shit! Um. <laughs> I mean, we. I, I think we should just mic drop it on that one and call it. Right. I mean, <laughs> and welcome back. <laughs> Dude. Can man. I get away with one more? Oh, yeah. Here, okay. Here, oh, here's here's one more. Here's you're one good. more time. Here, here, one more time, just because I think it's funny. Oh, shit! There you go. Okay. All right. It's out of my system. That was awesome. What a great! It was oh, so cold. Yeah, it, it was miserable. Um, so miserable. I mean, you know, pipes bursting. Our lab, our main lab. Um, the the building that's in it's a big office building. Um, the sprinkler pipe burst above it in the clinic. That's oh. Above it. Um. So our 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 yeah. So at, but now that's interesting. Heat rises. That's. <sighs> How is that possible? We, th- I don't, and I don't have a lot of the details. I think maybe you know the power was cutting on and off. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if that had something to do with it because I mean, because it was just cold, <laughs> um, cold. <laughs> and anyway, but they've done a remarkable job getting things back online very quick. So I mean, it's you know, but that was that's that was that was craziness for for you know for our organization. So so good job to those folks for really getting after it and getting getting things fixed. Uh, fortunately, the equipment stuff, I think it was, you know, because it's not sitting on the ground. I think most of that yeah. stuff was good. I mean, and I think they got to it soon enough, you know, with mold and whatnot. You know, I don't think that was a big as big of a problem. But the equipment, I think, was all really in good shape because it wasn't dripping directly on it. Right. Um, you know, they should have just wrapped all the pipes up with horse blankets. <laughs> horse blankets. <laughs> Oh my god. I've heard that those are very warm. Quit. Quit. <laughs> See, I still got a little post cough. Oh man, you're so bad. Well, I mean, you know, uh it's not uncommon for people oh, to, I know what you mean. to wrap their pipes up. It's not. I, and, I, it's, and right. Horse blankets are large Apparently, and cover a large area. They, they are. 
They are. Just throwing that out there. See it. I tried to do yeah. my part for me, the community. I mean, Mr. Ed stays awfully warm. <laughs> Wilbur. Wilbur. <laughs> right? I mean, oh my goodness. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're back. Oh, my goodness. We're bad. Oh. Aren't you so very glad? Yes. Oh, son, that's good. That's good. And speaking of glad. Yes. Let's have some dad. Let's do it. Because, you know, and, and so these, you know, so we haven't done this in a month either. And, right. and I do have to, I do, I do have to show everybody this is what Dave got me for Christmas. Yeah. Um, well, uh, and so I am super stoked about this. Little so, box so of we're going to we're, we're going to pull these out. Um interesting it says ages 7 plus. <laughs> so so we barely qualify. So, barely. so but 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 I'm digging it. So I'm pretty excited about that. So that's awesome stuff. Um, <laughs> but these these are going to be New Year's Eve themed ones, okay? Okay. okay. All right. So, you know, some some of them we'll, well we'll see what you think. Okay. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. What should you never eat on New Year's Eve? Um, what? Firecrackers. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I'm loving these. They're so bad. Um, <laughs> what's the one group that hates New Year's Day? The one group that hates New Year's Day. What? The New Year's Eve cleanup crew. That's especially in Times Square. Let's see it. Um... <laughs> Some of these, oh, I can't do that one. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, where was it? Oh yeah, did you hear about the guy that shoplifted a calendar on New Year's Eve? Um, no, he got 12 months. Hey, oh, good God, oh, that's terrible. Um, this will be the last one. All right. What did the little champagne bottle call his father? What did the little champagne bottle call It sounds like a bad video. Yeah, it, it does, yes. What, what did the little champagne bottle call his father? What's that? Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty pop. <laughs> you remember that? In, yeah, in, I, yeah in I, sync. Do. I do. In sync. I do. Sick and tired of hearing all these people talk about what's the deal with this pop life and when is it going to fade out? That's all I got. Good Lord. I got nothing else. Um, I got just, just enough to be dangerous. That's it. A lot of football doings. Oh, man. You know, we got uh, just, playoffs. Oh. About playoffs? Oh, you kidding big, me? Big day today. Playoffs? Big day today. Yeah. Big day today. Um, I mean, and, and yeah, I mean, and Sugar Bowl's happening. I mean, right? So all kinds of crazy at noon, which is, which is 11 down there, which is crazy. Yeah, but, a lot of, yeah. Day. It's games all day today and, and then games and, all day tomorrow. And you might be saying, Shane, Doc. Doc, Doc Shane, whatever. Doc, what? Why? I know I'm not supposed to reveal. Um, <laughs> why are you wearing blue? Because your team, my team, Orange Bowl victors. That's right. That's yes. Right. Yes. Big orange. Go big orange in the Orange Bowl. Yes. Power T orange. And and to my to my to my boys out there that were watching the game last night, that know what uh, W. GWTFA means a la Daryl Taylor. So the the one for today is WDWTFA. And if you don't know what that means, it's okay. I'm not going to say it on the air. <laughs> uh, but if you do know what that means, yeah, booyah. Uh, very excited. Very excited. But why am I wearing blue? Why am I wearing blue? Well, it's not, you know, and, and it, it, it kind of comes back around. But, you know, I got a little bit of a gripe. Okay. Yeah. I got a little bit of a gripe. Yeah. Um, Sonny Dykes. Now, yeah. Sonny, you ain't been around just long enough, in my opinion, to be running running your mouth about how, you know, at the end of the season, nobody's playing the Citadel and all this other mess. Did you see this where he yeah. talked about this? I saw it. Um, so I'm wearing blue, and it's not the right blue, but it's close for, you know, you know, hail to the victors, hail Michigan, the victors of the West, yeah. because I want Michigan to whoop they ass because yeah, I, I, Sonny Dykes just did. He, they, look, that's garbage. If you look at strength of schedule, four out of the top six teams strength of schedule are all out of the SEC. Yeah. So shush it. Yeah. Shush it. And you should have lost to Kansas State just so you know. Kansas State oh, blew it. Kansas State blew it. let you win the game. Blew it. Yeah. You know, and Kansas State's strength schedule is stronger than yours. That's the only thing that saved your 
took us too. So Sonny, suck it. So that's it. That's all I really have to say about that. We so let's let's get into the happy part. But that I just oh, that, I, that's exactly right. Oh, um, Sonny, <laughs> on you. Anyway, <laughs> TCU. Can I tell you something about the game last night with UT? You ain't ran on my parade right hand out. No, you. listen. I, here, I, here's I, so I'll bring it full circle listen, though. Okay? Listen, I'm super proud. Super. I, I will bring it full circle. You can't. You can't rain on this. Okay. There's too much. It's like all this light you have to use to try to illuminate <laughs> my pasty self. <laughs> That's you, right. My light shines brighter than anything. Uh, anyway. So uh, you know, I, I was watching the game last night. Rocky and, top. And, and there was a point in the game Joe where Milton. I thought this is the most boring game I've ever watched in my life because and it wasn't it wasn't the team's fault. It was the officials. The officials had to talk about every penalty. That's because they didn't know what they were doing because they terrible. called every off, uh, every defensive pass it's interference terrible. penalty on us and never called one on them. And Not once. I'm like, now come on now. You just called the same play against us the series before and it's not a penalty on them? Yeah. They, those officials were terrible. And so They were here, terrible. The, the next observation I terrible. had was, you know, Clemson ran the fake uh, fake field yes, goal. They did, and had he pitched it to the dude outside, he would have still been running. Potentially, yes, because there was nobody. There. I don't know how fast that guy really is, though. Oh, I don't know either. That's the that's but the thing you don't know. He would have had a good head start. He 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 had a yeah, that, and that's what I think. Um, I think Greg McElroy actually said that he goes, "You go to the outside shoulder of the defender, yeah, to make them have to understand uh, there's now course. two options." But Sweeney went to the inside shoulder, mm -hmm. and then you're done because you're not going to be able to go you in get, and then yeah. try to pitch it back out. Yeah. Um, so that was on him. So, so, so th I, that was an observation. Then they missed three consecutive field goals after that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now, now to be fair, the guy missed a fifty-five yarder and a forty-nine yarder. Oh, listen, I mean, I the could forty-one yarder he should have made that. Yeah. Um, but the fifty-five, I mean, that's you know for college. I I don't know why he kicked that. He shouldn't have kicked that. They should have gone for it. Because they were moving the ball against us. I, I mean, some of that they just made some bad coaching. I, I they, think there's some bad coaching. That was the other observation. Was one of the other. Sorry, I keep interrupting because I'm so excited. No, one, no, that was one and we whooped them, and it's mm, it's that delicious. That was one of the other observations delicious. because they spent so much time in Tennessee territory. I mean, they staked some land there. Yeah. I mean, that game very easily could have been Clemson up by a few scores going into the third quarter. Potentially. Very easily. Potentially. I and, think, and, yeah. But, but I will say this: I will say that in the middle of the third, throughout the fourth quarter, Tennessee's defense just clamped down. Yep. And we really did. I'm really to to you know as we've spoken about that D many times. So keep okay. going, keep going, you keep going. So I'm gonna shut up. So the one thing that bothered me about Clemson's um, uh, about their offensive approach of the game, and again, I know this is a young quarterback, and you could tell, you could just tell. But the uh, but did play really well against yeah. Carolina in the championship game. He did. I he mean, did. he played a great game. Of course, I mean, it's, I, I I'd like to say it's probably not the same versus playing us, but but that's but that's just my it, biased it, opinion. It, what was funny to me is number twenty four for UT. Don't know his name. Can't remember Beasley. Um, Beasley. Every time Remem remember the name. Every time that they put the running back in motion out into you know, even if he was just outside the tackle. And you had an empty look. Yeah, they were bringing the blitz. That's correct. And and then every, and it worked and like then, every time. Yeah, and I mean, it's like so. If you know that, what I am going to do as an offensive coordinator is I'm going to crack back you with somebody, a sure. wide receiver or Makes something. Sense. Makes sense. And and then the running back is going to get the ball over the middle of the field, running full speed, and I'm going to make you eat that. My quarterback's going to get hit, but if he hits it, it's probably going to be a touchdown because the safeties are split. Clemson never made that adjustment. Like what? And like what? Why? I mean, why? First of all, you get your offensive line together and say, "Hey guys, it's one dude. Block him. Come on." You know. Yeah, that I, the the adjustments were just not there. No, and it, I mean, it's, and like, they, it's like Dabo kind of phoned it in. I mean, I mean, and that's not to take anything away from UT because do, UT actually played honestly I, from I, the middle of the third to the end of the game. That's that's the best they've looked in weeks. Yeah. The best they've looked in well, I mean some of the weeks that of course, didn't play. I mean I mean our but, our D, yeah, particularly in the second half, I mean of course I mean they had several weeks to prepare. So I mean I mm -hmm. think that helped a lot too. I mean they really did do a good job. I I don't know, I mean maybe I, and and again I'm not I, you know I'm not a, I'm I, I'm not a I'm not a football um you know I, I don't coach, I don't I, you know. So I mean 
I don't know if there was something in the set, like they they just, I mean, it was it, it just a read and recognition thing at the line. They just weren't picking it up. I, I mean, now our coverage was a lot better than it's been. I mean, sure. now we got a ton of sure. pass interference penalties, which is fine, except they didn't ever call anything on us or, or against that's, Clemson, that's which true. is which was garbage. Um, but you know, I mean, now Beasley is also. I mean, his, his closing speed is 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 pretty incredible. Oh, and he's so super impressive. I think. I think they did take advantage of of, of you know Klubnik being a freshman, and they beat him up too. That kid oh, yeah. got beat yeah, up. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he got beat. So I mean, you also when you're beating him up, I mean that you know it's, you go to the body and the head will drop like Rocky. You know, Mick, Mick always said that you hit him in the body and the head's going to drop. So some of that may have just been he was beat up so bad by the end of the game. Maybe to me, but, I mean, but no, Streeter didn't. You know, the offensive coordinator for Clemson. I don't know about him. Um, well, I mean, here's the thing. I don't so, know about him. Of course, they fired. Um, shoot, um, dude, he went was he was over there. You you uh, USF. Yeah. Um, what is his name? I wonder if they'll bring him back. You know the old the old know. co-offensive coordinator. Yeah. He got fired down there because he didn't produce. Oh. Um, so I just wonder. But Streeter, yeah, I don't know about them and Dabo. You feel like is Dabo just getting older and like he's got the dad bod coming out, or do you think he's like not healthy? Because this, you know, he I don't know. He have you know have you noticed? I that? have like, noticed it. He sure. doesn't look now. Of course, maybe there's more strain on him now. I don't know. Um, just because I mean to to maintain the level of success that they've had for oh, so yeah. long. I mean, of course, I mean Nick Saban don't look like that minus a little bit of hair loss. I mean right. Nick Saban still looks the same. He does. Um, of course, they don't make him like that, but. Yeah, they something's off. Like he didn't look healthy to me. So, so something's wrong. So that's what I think. One easy adjustment that you make if that's what they're doing. And UT was. I mean, it's not even like they were trying to disguise it. It's like, oh, you're going empty set, or the running back is. Right. And then we're, I'm coming. We're going to bring some pressure. So what you do with that is you put the running back out, like I said, and you you dump it over the middle or whatever. Or on the snap of the ball, you bring slot guy from the opposite end mm-hmm. over. Hand the ball off. I mean, it's right up the middle, and then and then you're then that then the linebacker has to make a decision. I'm going to go after the guy who may potentially have the ball, or the quarterback may still have the ball, and the middle of the field is still open. There's so many little things you can do to adjust that, and they didn't do any of them. Or get out a shotgun and get to a tighter set. Sure, I, I just it drives me nuts that like I'm like. Could he not make adjustments because the kid didn't know the playbook, and that may very well be the case, and I don't think that's the kid's fault. Or or was know, the, that's hard to say. Or with, was with, the offense so so geared around DJ? I'm not going to pr- try to pronounce his last name. Yeah, you you or whatever. Um, it, was it so geared around him that they're like, okay, we're going to go with like about 30 plays here that you run in high school. I don't think that was it. I think I mean I think particularly in the second half, I think we really did. I mean, I think we figured out what they were doing. I do think we covered better, and, I and, and we've I been too. and we've been pretty solid against the run for the most part all all year. And so they couldn't really run run against us successfully. I, That's mean, true. I mean, you know, they they had some, you know, some good runs, but they really weren't getting those big. On the whole, you know, you yeah. know, uh, they, they just weren't getting, you know, Shipley wasn't getting loose, and and you know, Mufafa or whatever that I mean, that dude is huge. Yeah, he's a um, beast. You know, he had a couple of big grinding runs, but nothing like they just never had any breakaway type. You know? I didn't see Timon and Pumba though. <laughs> you are on fire. <laughs> You're gonna get shut down by that. Kuna Matata. Oh my god. Well, when I first heard his name, I thought they said Mufasa. Right, and so I'm going. I went full Lion King, and like I made the joke last night, and I, I don't get a reaction out of Steven anymore. He's like, whatever. But like, I mean, I'm watching the game last night. Like, oh, where's Timon and Pumbaa? Where they, where's? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Nala, um, where's Nala? Oh, she's on the sideline. That's right. Um, hanging out. I, I am really proud, though. I mean, hey, great we, season, great season we, for you too. And, and and Joe Milton played a good game. He did. I was so, you know, I was like, Joe Milton, you know, he can't throw to the boundary and you know, all these things. He made some really good throws. He did. Now, they started him out at the beginning of the game. They were giving him some good, safe throws, mm-hmm. but he was nailing them. Yeah. And, you know, we, I think it, you could also argue if Hooker had played 
we would have blown them out, you know, because well, the other team would have been distracted. Right, right, right. right. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, you're talking about something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh shit! Uh, so sorry. <laughs> you know, that's the that's that that was when we got in trouble because we didn't have the briefcase with the cocaine and the hookers. <laughs> here, Hinden, here, here Hinden, in my, here in my hooker. mother-in-law screaming at the top Hinden, of her Hinden Hinden lungs. Hooker. Hinden run, hooker, hooker run! run. run. Right, that's it, is the that's funniest it. thing I've ever heard. I, I, sorry, I could, go ahead. I, I couldn't I, resist. I could I could see that. Um. Yeah, but no, just, I mean, playing well and, of course, not having your top two receivers because they both opted out. Sure. Um, but didn't, you know, I, I think the, Volquist had an article about that saying, you know, maybe that's not necessarily a bad thing because, you know, other than Hyatt break, potentially breaking Robert Meacham's receiving yards record, it doesn't really benefit us any for him to play because he's not going to be there next year. So the, all the players that played in the bowl game are going to be back next year. So. Right. You know, so that's some good chemistry and stuff. And they, of course, they had worked together throughout the, you know, the, the, you know, just, just getting, you know, the prep for the, for the bowl game. So, I mean, I, I think, I think there's some encouraging things. So, so to be, you know, 11 and two orange bowl, I mean, I didn't see that happening this year, you know, and, and, and we did, I mean, we did, we, we were the better team. I mean, of course, Clemson's offense has not been what a Clemson offense you've seen in the past, right? but even still, I mean, I feel like we actually did play pretty darn well. Well, I mean, they were on the field for like 100 plays. The, right. right. I mean, which that, which that, I think also speaks to the stamina. Yeah. And and it's kind of, it was it was kind of that going back in time, you know, you're talking, you know, the, the, the 90s, early 2000s, you know, kind of that bend, but we didn't break. Like, we didn't let them get a touchdown. You know, like they, they oh, couldn't... Yeah. They couldn't get the right sequence of plays, and we were calling the right stuff to prevent them from actually getting the Any, touchdown. Anytime a team by the start of the fourth quarter is around sixty-five plays in your territory, and you're not getting blown out, yeah. so, I mean, you're doing something right. I think we, yeah. And again, him missing those kicks, I, I mean, I wouldn't have seen. I mean, a fifty-five yarder, yeah, but he, you know, the, the forty-nine, the forty-one, definitely. And they shouldn't have faked that kick. That was that was a bad. They shouldn't have they, faked they, the kick. There's some bad. There's some bad coaching there. And I can tell you this: if my kicker misses three field goals in a row, guess who's not coming back in? Right. I'm and still, he, I mean, it's me. And honest. he brought him back out for two more. Yeah. I mean, which what, is crazy. Like, what are you thinking? Which is crazy. He's yeah. missed three. Yeah. And then the end of the first half where they had a chance to score and he takes a sack or he, or he actually runs. He, he, he got run. out, but yeah, but, but yeah, we Baron grabbed him and then you got, and no he got hurt on that play. Cause basically he bent him backwards mm-hmm. when he brought him to the ground. So yeah. that wasn't good either. Um, yeah. So it, it that, yeah, they just, yeah, just, and some of that's some freshman stuff too. I it guess, is. Of course know. it is. Yeah. So, but anyway, but no, congratulations, hey, go balls! I'm glad you guys hey, and your Knowles getting ten wins at the Cheez It. Yeah, um, getting the getting the Cheez It, the jumbo cheeses dumped on them, you yeah. know, out of the out of the cup and all that, <laughs> and you know, that didn't go quite like I thought it was. I figured FSU blow them out, but Oklahoma, I mean, Oklahoma played a better game than what I thought. Um, but I mean, FSU was was definitely the better team. I mean, I, and, and and they proved it when they finally yeah got their stuff together and it was like okay this is you know there's this is what we thought was going to happen because they they're they're, now they're playing like what i've seen during the year pretty excited too they got some they got some kids coming in next year and most of these guys will be back and i mean i they they should stop encouragement they should start they should start the season in the top 15 i would think i mean i would think but you know i don't know Oh, I think so. No, yeah. I, think, I definitely think so. You know, you let the like there's, there's, there's upside. And there's that way out. All those people vote and all that crap. Um, I definitely think. I definitely think it's it, they're they're going to be more relevant and might be better than Clemson next year and maybe win an ACC championship. That's all I just keep hoping for for us. Is just, I don't know. It doesn't matter. That, it's just the ACC. Nobody yeah, cares that, that we that we but, that we that we stay. I, SEC just means more, man. Of course it does. It just means more. I don't know why these other. I was games good are... until Sonny Dykes. Okay, I was good. Sonny yeah, Dykes. That, made, that, Son, that, that was so, Sonny Dykes' comment was that's just plain ignorant. That's that just, you know, I I I get it. You know, of course we've talked about it, but man, that that got me a little fired up. I that get got it. me a little fired up. That's I just get that, that's, I was like, dude, just shut up. Shut up. I hope Michigan just hangs freaking. I hope they, I hope number one, number one, I hope they punish them physically because Michigan has the best offensive line in all of college football. Oh, yeah. And I hope they just beat them to death. Yeah. Um, I mean, not literally, but I mean, I hope they punish them the whole game. That's what I hope for. And, you know, I, I, I mean, in any way, you know, the, the horny toads are going down. That's all I have to say. So talking about the playoffs, going which, are, down. which are tonight. Going down. Let's get some score predictions. Okay. Let's get some score right, predictions. We're going to do that one first. Let's, let's, yeah, let's okay. do Michigan TCU. Okay. Michigan 38, TCU 17. 
38-17. Wow. Okay. I'm mad. That's a that's an a emotional. Three touchdown that's lead. A, that's an emotional. Three touchdown win. That's an emotional pick. Just to shut them up. Look at that quick math. Walking in, walking out. No man, right? That's good stuff. Strong, that's, strong. You can math. That's how like Virginia. It. I like baby. it. Right. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it. Yeah, thirty-eight, seventeen. No, no hesitation. I, I, I don't think. I don't think it's going to be as close. Yeah, that, yeah. That's it. Georgia, Ohio State. So you know, number one, I, I can't stand Ohio State. Me either. I mean, I just can't. But and I can't stand just for men. You know, he. I mean, all that crap. I mean, that dude. Listen, have a. It's, it's, you know, he's the new Vincent you're Price. Looking, you're looking like you're looking like right. Yeah, you're he, looking like the genie from Aladdin. Your beard yeah. is so dark. I right. mean, come on now, that is not real. <laughs> Okay, so that looks terrible, Ryan Day, and and then your team, you, you know, you you backed your way into it, um, but they're still a good team, and they've had a while to prepare, you know. And the, the last time they were number four seed, you know what happened? Yes, they won the whole freaking thing. That's right. So, but not so fast, my friend. Not so, not so fast, fast my, friend. my friend. This time, I don't see anybody getting Georgia uh, in this game, so I'm gonna go. I'm going to go 31-27, Georgia. 31-27, Georgia. 27. Yes. All right. Stetson Bennett pulling it out. So, well, he'll get arrested for that. Right, um, right. Uh, you can't do or that. He, or he just he's trying to prevent pregnancy. <laughs> so um, it could be that, too. Be that too. could be that, too. <laughs> I can play this game, too, but it's... I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, God. Um, all right, so here's here's where I think we're at. Just remember, W-D-W-T-F-A. That's um, it. I like, that's, for my, that's for my boy Jordan, too. I like 17 for TCU, but I think it's good. I think 28-17 is the final. Okay. That's, but you don't think it's going to be... Okay, yeah. I, okay, I like it. I, think this, I, I think, like it. I think it's likely they have 10 points going into the fourth, and they get a nothing touchdown. Kind of a mop-up garbage touchdown. And the, and the 28, and the 28 from, from uh, Michigan, I think, happens on like 40 minutes of possession time. I got you. They just run the ball down their throat, I, and that's what I hope. Like I said, I just I just want them to physically punish them and just yeah. be like, yeah, go. T- go TCU's go away, offense go away. is good enough to score on anybody. So, I mean, I, I, to, to hold them right, you know. but Michigan, but Michigan is a running team. Oh yeah, and that's what, and that, I really do. I just think they're just going to be more physical. Um, I really do, especially after watching that Kansas State game. I mean, Kansas State blew that. Oh, they do. Of course, Kansas they State should have won that yeah. game. Oh my goodness, I'm still sick over it. Um, anyway. Ohio State and Georgia. Now, I've really thought about this one. I really <laughs> have. And I agree with you. I hate Ohio State. I've always hated Ohio State. If you pick, I'm going to throw up if you pick Ohio I've State. I've always hated Ohio Please State. Please don't do it, Dave. Dave. But. Dave. Oh, but, oh Dave. Here, here's, here's what I think Ryan we have, Day. We have a trash can. Here's what I think Ryan Day does a good job Just for of. Men sponsor. He, he, he's a great sponsor for Just for Men. Not only um, a spokesperson, I'm also a client. But. If you're a coach and you're as talented as they are anyway, yes, you have all this talent. Yes, you're coming in. Ain't nobody on earth giving you a chance against Georgia. I mean, that's true. And because I mean, you always play that card, right? You're you're on the podium talking to the press, and you're like, "Well, it's going to be a hard fought game. We just hope, you know." That's not what you're saying in the locker room. Of course not. No. What you're saying in the locker room no. is these guys disrespect you. They're laughing at you. I've said these things to kids before. Right, right. They're over there on that other sideline laughing at you. Right. Even though it's probably not happening. They're all going to laugh at you. Yeah, they're all going to laugh. I think I think he does that. I think they get a lead on Georgia, and Georgia's just not built to really come back. And I think 31-27 Ohio State. And it makes me sick to my stomach, but I'm just being honest. I'm picking with my head, not my heart. And I think you end up with a Michigan-Ohio State National Championship that will be the highest highest rated uh, national championship in in the history, maybe a football. Oh, yeah, it definitely will be. I mean, you know. Yeah, I I, I don't disagree. I I don't love it. Uh, but I think that I just don't think I think if Ohio State gets rolling, I think Georgia. Here's what I've seen from Georgia over the past four or five weeks: they 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 can't get it together early. It takes them a while to get settled in defensively, and when you do that with a team that has that kind of offense, you might just get screwed over. Yeah, because so, it, it. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, it depends on because I mean their D is still going to be their D. 
Yeah. Because, I mean, they, their offense played like garbage for the first two quarters, really, against, oh. against Georgia Tech. Yeah. And Georgia Tech is not good. No. Um, but their defense was so solid, they only gave up one score. Yep. And then they got it rolling, and then it's like, okay. But, you, I mean, you're right. You give a great offensive team that much opportunity. Yeah. And and you 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 know you can get in some significant trouble. So you're right. I mean, and these kids are going to come in there ready to go. What I hope is, I hope because it is they've gotten a, about a month of prep time. I, yeah. I'm just hoping. I mean, because Kirby Smart. I mean, they they are creating the new Alabama, in my opinion. I, I really think so do. too. And this is this is this is the test because if they if they go back to back back to back undefeated seasons, right? Is that no 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 no? They lost they, they lost, they lost to Bama. That's right. They lost to Bama in the SEC championship. That's the last game they've lost. Right. Though. So yeah. sorry, that's my fault. Bad yep. bad stat. I mean, we need a stat boy. Um, <laughs> can you say that stat boy? Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, like reality. I mean, that like made reality's career yeah. with ESPN. He yeah. started out a stat boy for PTI. Yeah. How did that happen? I'm like, I could have done that anyway. Um, Chris Felica, right? Right? Yeah. Yes. Right. So you know. So they went. You know what I'm saying. So, I but, do. but, but that I hope that Kirby's just had enough time that they've been able to see everything that Ohio State can really put together. But you just don't know because if their offense is sputtering, you know, you're right. They're not. They're not built to come from behind. No. That is that is 100 percent true. But that D. Oh, it's wicked. And I mean, listen, this could turn a couple of ways. I mean, a couple of interceptions. Right. You get a couple of short fields. And I think if Georgia gets up on you a couple of scores, it's very it's gonna be very difficult. Because if they know you have to throw the I, ball, yeah. then you're you're in bad shape. I mean, look what they did to us. I mean, yeah. they completely locked us up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they really did. Um and, and yeah, I I think I do I actually I think it will be more of a back and forth. Um, I really do, but but you're right. I mean, if it goes that way where Ohio State gets up on them, then I think it's I think it's over. It's actually funny you bring up the UT Georgia game because that's the game that I went back in my head and referenced for this. Because Georgia came into that game with something to prove. They're like, No, we're number one. Right. We are the best True. team right. in the country. Right, absolutely. We are Absolute. the underdogs. That right? was the worst thing that ever happened to us when they yeah. made us number oh, one. That was yeah. the worst possible thing that could Georgia ever happen. Georgia came in there and said, We're gonna stomp your rear ends into the ground. Yeah. And that's what Ryan Day yeah. is gonna do. With Ohio State. Now, I mean, you're right. Mike Tyson said, everybody's got a plan to get punched in the mouth. That's right. That's so, it. That's it. I mean, it's but, all good until that first hit happens. <laughs> and you're right. like, oh, hello. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, Ohio State. If, but I'm excited. If they win, I think TCU is going to get beat. I mean, Ohio State, Michigan for the national championship to watch Michigan win again. Right. I, I still think, and I've said this, you know this, I've oh, said yeah. this on the podcast most of the year. I think Michigan is the best team in the country. Let's do. And, and I think they learned a lot from losing last year. Oh yeah. I, I think I think that loss really that you know number one they they realized yeah we were supposed to be here but number two is like well mm, yeah we got punched in the mouth and, oh, yeah. and didn't respond right um and so I think they learned a lot from that last year just so yeah I, I agree I mean I I could yeah it's that could, whole thing about playing to win and playing not to lose right. You know, and that's if you're playing not to lose, you're probably going to lose. That's it. More times than not. That's exactly right. Because uh, you can't play that way. That's exactly right. Um, so there's our college football playoff picks, folks. We 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 disagreed on one game. You wanted to pick Georgia, though. Well, don't of course you? I did. I, mean, I hate I mean, Ohio. I mean, I just can't. I, know I hope my, I'm wrong. My, my heart got with. Mm, I just can't. I, can't. I hope I'm wrong. I hope S- I'm wrong. SEC just means more. Of course. I mean, these other. I don't know why these other teams are in there. I mean, what, what's I the SEC really, right now? Two and three in bowl games. Is it is it two and three? Yeah, okay. so. you looked it up this morning. I did. I didn't look it up. Yeah, no, we we have not done uh, what hmm. I would call great. It's weird. Like um, I don't understand how that's Ole possible. Miss. What a disappointment. Yeah. God. Yeah. I mean th- that was ugly. Did you watch any of that? That was ugly. I don't I, know what. I, that, didn't, it, I didn't watch the game. They, I did see. They some just of the like had. They like had like no motivation at all. Like that. They just. That is the ugly game. That that game was ugly. They underachieved. Um, Arkansas won. Yeah. You know, Arkansas got a victory. Mm-hmm. Um, Going to be interesting today. Of course, Bama, LSU's coming up. You know, all the all the things. Yeah, all the things. Which, how about that? They had to cut the uh, betting um, on LSU Purdue because because Breeze is is an interim assistant coach and he's part of one of those sports betting things yeah and you know, i think that was weird that's weird that just and they basically said anybody's bet after december 15th doesn't count yeah 
because he's now a, a interim assistant. I was like, that's stupid. Anyway, yeah. But so, but, but big things. Of course, you know, part of the reason we haven't had that many games, Dave, is because we play the big boy bowl games. That's you know true. This, that's you know true. This. Um, but yeah, but no, we we've not. You know, good yeah. win for Tennessee. I mean, for the SEC too sure. yesterday. So yeah. so really big win because yeah, we mm, not a- not ACC is doing okay. Not not great. Not great. ACC is doing okay. Yeah, but they didn't do great last night. They didn't. My Noles won, though. That's all that matters to me. Again, I don't give a flying crap about the ACC. <laughs> I'm a Florida State fan. U-T-S-E-C. Um, oh, my God, a new cheer. U-T-S-E-C. Oh, my God. S-E-C. There you go, folks. U-T. He copyrighted S-E-C. it right here on the show. I think they probably somewhere came up with that. I'm not that good. Um, so so we so we so we missed the Christmas broadcast. We did. And by the way, we've been doing this a year now. We and I, was, that I know, history, man. So yeah. I know, I know. And and have done pretty well to get yeah. the thirty seven episodes. Yeah. You know, and that's with vacations. And I mean, and and if you think about it, we missed a full month because of like sickness and 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 oh, yeah. and, and, and you know, you got your truck, which is awesome. You know, yeah. so so things happening. We missed multiple episodes. Um, because of that, yeah, you awesome. know. So really, we we we've, we've done really well. Bought a little pickup truck. That's it. Mm-hmm. A little happy with a little, little 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 little, little Ford F one fifty. Little little pickup fifty 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 action. That's little, right. I just wanted a little pickup truck. That's all. That's um, it. It's good stuff. But yeah, but nope. Yeah, but wait, been doing so, it. Yeah, so grinding so full, it out. So a full year, and so you know, you start you start reflecting, <laughs> you start reflecting, and. I, I do have a little mood the, music the, for the this. first the first show yeah, so, the, so the, the Vista Print what I, I mean, it, we, we, <laughs> what, we set the tone with Vista what Print I, That's what I it. what I wanted to do is since we just we just got past Christmas I want you you to, play and, Growing Pains show me that smile again show me that smile I'm gonna die don't waste another minute on your oh eyes. look at you um, look at you. So oh, I love it. So a little, uh, a little mood, uh, not real music here, but just uh, like a little mood. Uh, There's ice cold Dr Pepper in here, just in case you're wondering. Of course, in, in the Yeti, because you know, yes, you know, there it, is. It is I, it I watched him. It, it is. It is college football time. Um, so and there's nothing uh, else in it. So this, will, this will no kinda, uncles, no cousins. It's just, it's just Dr Pepper. This will put you, uh, this kind of back into the Christmas spirit here. It's a little nice roaring fireplace for oh, you. Oh, so nice. Look at that. So warm. It's very peaceful. Um. So, there is something very peaceful about it. So, so what I wanted to talk about though was was two things. One, we've got a cool trivia contest. Co- not contest, you don't win shit, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> right? Wait, the budget. You know, wait, wait, wait. Despite making it a year, the budget, yeah, the budget did no. not. You know, it didn't escalate to the proportion uh, I was hoping. Um, so I've got a little movie. Uh, Christmas you know, I'm bad. Movie. I'm bad with Christmas. I'm What's bad okay? with movies. I'm That's bad. Okay. It's gonna be all right. Um, but so what I wanted to do was ask, and this was gonna be for last week, but. Of all time, all the way back to being a kid. Yeah. What is your favorite Christmas gift of all time? And I still remember mine. Oh man. Um gosh. My favorite of all time. Doesn't it feel like it's getting warmer in here? Isn't it such a psychological thing I with a fire? Good. I feel Isn't that good. Weird? Like my, my bones, you know, because it's it's you know, it, it it's warmer outside, but it's it's rainy, you know, everything's just yeah, it's feeling nice and relaxed. My yeah. Favorite gift of all time. Of all time. My wife saying that she would marry me. Now that was December nineteenth. Um, Let me just tell you uh, something. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst answer that I've ever heard in my life, Laura. I, I know you listen to this, and you're going to say, "Oh, he got some points for this." <laughs> that is the fakest answer. No, I didn't no. say it wasn't one of no. your favorites. No. Well, I mean, it's not technically on Christmas, you know. Yeah. It's, so so you know, I, I get where you're at. Um. <laughs> That cop out. You know that was oh my good. god. It's it's <laughs> it's probably got to be really and truly. Um, I, I'm gonna go all the way back. This this is this is when I really like you know because when I you know you're you're like five yeah and so maybe I was six. I guess I was six. Yeah, I was six, and so I remember the first. That, that's when I first remember what I really asked for for Christmas. Okay, because yeah. you know we went and saw Santa. Um, you know, which of course Santa was was the uh, organic chemistry professor who lived at the end of my street. Oh. Um, but but was <laughs> but was but came to the school dressed up, and he was pretty good Santa. Um, but I asked for Clifford the toy dog. Yeah, yeah. And I got Clifford, and and boy, I was the biggest Santa believer. The big red dog. Cause, Look at you. Because you. Santa delivers. Yeah. And still delivers to this day. Yeah, he does. And so, except so if you ask for Super Bowl, I, I would say, well. Yeah. Um, right. Um, 
<laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with that. I really because that that is such a great memory, and and of course, like I said, true believer in the Santa Man. He's yeah. he, the the big guy comes through. Um, uh, you know, so so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it was that Clifford, and I still have it. I still oh, have look it. At you. I still have, um, my sister actually has it maintained. The the nose got ripped off by one of her punk ass you know kids <laughs> at the school, <laughs> but she it is, it is maintained. <laughs> This was, you know, I mean, but, but, you know, again, that was, that was 40, what, no, 37, 37. Yeah, I guess I was, I was six. Yeah, 37 years ago. Yeah. Clifford, Clifford, the big red dog. Cheer. Loved it. You know, would, would have him, we'd play, you know, he'd be in the bed with me, you know, yeah. you know, cause we didn't have a real dog cause I was allergic to dogs, cats, all the things. So right. we had some cats at some point and that was rough on the sinuses. Um, we had a dog dog got stolen somebody literally just like they think just pulled up and put you know the dog just went in the, holy crap just went in the car and gone yeah wow and, you know remember that was when we talked about the dog and your mom's maiden name the peppy bennett remember that <laughs> that's right and that you them, a... them gone anyway but so yeah so so <laughs> you love that one i do um but but yeah so I, i'm gonna say clifford clifford the big red dog well how about that that's it clifford that's the it. red that's it big, that's the it. big red dog yep yeah. Um, that and I got some really flattering uh, Christmas uh, PJ pants one time. I oh, was like, there you go. I was like, I just got invited to six proms. Look at this. Look at um, <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm uh, kidding. My wife just rolled over and said, "Oh my gosh." Um, anyway, um, anyway. So for me, um, yes, there was a couple of gifts over the years. You have to pick one. I picked. I one. know. I know. And, and so, so I'm going to pick one. Um, and I think that the one that meant the most to me, particularly as a kid, I was a big uh, Knight Rider fan. Yes. I mean, huge Knight Michael Rider. Mike. I couldn't say, I thought it was Michael Mike instead of Michael Knight. <laughs> Michael Mike. Michael, Michael Mike. Mike. And, you know, I had the big wheel, yes. like the, the Knight Rider big yes. wheel that, yes. that you can make spin around, had a little lever. Yes. yes. But I got the talking car for Christmas one year. And it came with like a little Michael Knight doll yes. that like set in the car. The Knight Industries 2000. Yeah. And it had the little red light in the front and everything. And I was so excited about this gift. Like, I, I mean, I don't even remember what else now, I Now, is that the one you pushed the back of the license plate yep. and it talked? Yeah. I, I had that. Had the little well. pull tab. Little I had pull that tab well. on the, I yeah. got that for a birthday. Um, that was yeah. a birthday gift. Yes. That was, so yeah, that was. Um, That's a good gift. Bir yes, birthday sir. gift is a whole different. No, no, no. We're, we're just talking yeah. about Christmas. No, no, no. I don't. No, that's too much pressure. No, I'll, no, no, no. I'll fold. No, what I wanted. To, fold. What I wanted to say with the birthday gift was we'll, we'll have to talk about that because that's like a that's a deep conversation for me because there's one in particular that kind of changed the course of my life. As a matter of fact. Oh wow. So yeah. So it's actually oh, well. a deep conversation. Yeah, we're not ready for that. No, yeah, we're we, not. We've been out no. about a month. We got to no. get. We got to get. Yeah. Um, we'll do that around my around my birthday. I like that. I like. That. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the Knight Rider get, talking car, get the indestructible and, and, car, and you know, and here's the thing: like a lot of times, you get toy cars that have figures that like sit behind the steering wheel, yes, and yes. they don't fit, like right. they don't fit or yes, whatever. Yes. Michael's hands would go right yes, on the steering wheel, yes, and his feet were all the way to the yes. ground, and it was perfect, yes, and he had perfect hair, perfect hair. I mean, nobody hassles the Hoff in no, his hair. No. I mean, you know, it's the Hoff man, part of my role model. I mean, you know, it's, I, I got up a little late this morning, so the hair's not fixed. I had to put the hat on, but nobody, yeah, nobody hassles the Hoff. The Hoffinator. The Hoffinator. Huge in Germany. We oh. got listeners in Germany. We do. I mean, that's we, it. That's probably why. Because... Parallel universe. How about that? <laughs> that's the same. Of course, you've never been videotaped by your daughter drunk eating a cheeseburger either. That no, was that's kinda, true. That too. was not a good look for him with no was, shirt on. No, that was not. And a good skinny look. jeans. That was not a good. And look skinny for jeans. Him. It was like. Mm. I got this cheeseburger. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. He's he's yeah, he, he's falling a little bit. So so there you go. So that's uh, just a little little Christmas uh, thing there. Kit. Yeah, Turbo Boost. I was um, sorry. I'm getting the next. You should thing. have, you the should have played thing the Night Rider theme. Really is what should have happened. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm just not that good, Doc. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's okay. Uh, I actually about to enter the world. So the reason that I didn't have that the dangerous world of a man who does not exist is I wanted to do it live while we were talking, so I didn't even think about it. I got you. So now. right, so right, it was off so, the cuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and obviously you can't just. I got you. I got um, you. Yeah. If the budget was a little better, I could get sound effects immediately because I you know, can have don't, somebody working. We on haven't that. had any more sponsors. I know, right? I'm pretty disappointed. So, I'm disappointed. I'm, I, too. I mean, you know, there's some other working folks out there. Um. So I thought we would do a. This is a little, this is gonna be little trivia. And what, my what '90s is, music knowledge pretty darn good. I was feeling pretty. That common. was great. The 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 movies. Mm, we'll see. So this one is. Um, I'm pretty excited. It's though. 20 movies. 
Oh my god! And and it's like just a, a snippet from each movie, like a little sound effect. Oh wow! Or like, or like something from each movie. Right? Oh wow! Um, and then uh, and then we'll we'll play it, and then uh, we'll uh, see what you know. Um, I know, like I said, it, it, this this may be this may be a little rough. Okay. All right, are you ready to go? I'm ready, man. Right, Let's okay. do it. Let's do Here it. Here we go. This first one. We'll go I, down. We'll go down swinging if I, nothing else. I think I think you'll know this first one. Maybe. For sure. Here we go. Big ribbon on his head. And I want to look him straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, so inbred, great. overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, Whoa. heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spiny lip, worm headed sack of monkey shit he is. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh man, no, it's, I what, don't know. It, uh, it, I, I'm, I'm so. Mm-mm. That is that's mm-mm. Christmas Vacation. No, National it's Lampoon's. not. Yeah, that's Ch- so. Every vacation no. movie, Chevy Chase has an outburst. Oh you know? my goodness, and that, and that was, is his that rant was the one from the from, National Lampoons. Yeah. That's the one. How about that? Yeah, worm headed sack of. Uh, uh, that's what I like. I found it now. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a timestamp on this, dude. That's pretty crazy. Oh yeah, that's no. Like I said, I'm real bad with these movies, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's gonna be okay. I'm ready. Keep going. Keep going. Let's keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Keep going. It, it goes down from here. Here we go. All right. Here's number two. Does Santa, know that you left the workshop. Oh, no, that's elf. Yeah, it's elf. Okay, got that, that one. All right, we're good. This is better. This, this is, is better. better. This okay. is better. To the base pay, Jack Reed. I get more action in a week than you've had your entire <laughs> ah, life. Jack. I've got houses in oh. LA, Paris, and um, each one of them. I can't fast forward these. Oh, screen. Jack Weed. I've so forgotten I the Jack Weed. Stupid smile off your face oh, before I come over there man. and smack it off. Oh. You're feeling strong, my friend. <laughs> Call me Elf. Oh my goodness. All right, so Elf there. So here's he thought uh, he was an Elf. Here's number three, buddy. Scrooged. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I, I remember that was in like yeah. that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This, uh, yeah, this was Scrooged. Um, it's one of my favorite movies. We may only do, we, we may only do some of these. I was going to say, cause that's going to be a long, it's going to be 20, long. Cause, yeah. So we'll let, uh, <laughs> we watched this over the holidays. It's great. We'll do, we'll do two more of these. So here's here's number here's the next picture. one. Santa rolling down the block in a panzer. Well, kids, I I certainly hope you've been good this year because oh it looks my. like Santa just took out the Pearson home. Oh my in. goodness! And another thing, but what about reindeer? Reindeer. And I Santa, recognize this Santa from his voice. It, it's kind of a package deal. Santa is a. Oh, that's um. Oh shoot! Is that Tim Allen? It is Tim Allen. Which one is that? Um. I think it's the only—it's a Santa Claus. Yeah, it's yeah, Santa it's Claus. Only, okay, yeah. that is Tim Allen. It's the okay. only, yeah, That's, yeah, only that, Christmas movie he did. Did they? Okay, keep going. They did. Yeah, a, yeah, they yeah, did yeah, a couple. Yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, sorry, and, sorry. Uh, my phone is like blowing up with text message stuff right now. Sorry, I'm so um, sorry. Sorry, I got to... Oh, which we're going to talk about. That. We are. We're going to talk oh, about Oh, son. That. Yes. No, sorry, sorry. Yes, but yes. So yep, we'll yep. do, Tim Allen, Santa Claus. Sorry, yeah, sorry. We'll right, do... Right. We'll do I'm uh, doing better than I thought I would. We'll do this last one here. Okay. That's, we'll that's, do number five. That'd be good. See if I can get four out of five. Here we go. You shot your eye out. I know what I'm going to do tomorrow and the next day and next year and the year after that. I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet and I'm going to see the world. Italy, Greece, the Parthenon, the Colosseum. Then I'm coming back here and go to college and see what they know. And then I'm going to build things. I'm going to build airfields. I'm going to build skyscrapers a hundred stories high. I'm going to build bridges a mile long. I don't know that one. Nothing? No, nothing. It's a wonderful life. Oh, dude. No. No. Um, no. Gary. No. Gary, don't jump. Look at you. Look Um, at you. Yeah. I mean, we watched that. I remember being a kid, and we would watch it because they'd show the original black and white version, but I mm didn't. Oh, yeah. Movie quotes, man. That's like kryptonite. That's amazing. I just I figured you would know mm-hmm. a lot of. Them. I'm not a no. Sorry, not a movie sorry, quote sorry, guy. Very, you know I I like TV shows and I love music. Um, movies I'm not the, I'm not as good at. I don't know why. Um, superhero movie stuff I probably get that because yeah. I like that type of stuff. You know Star Wars that sort of stuff. Right. But no, you know I'm just not I'm not real good at it. But hey, sixty percent. 
That won't get you much. Um, well, I mean, so, and when I first listened to these, I was like, okay. Some of these I had to think about really hard. Um, but, yeah. So, so, so you were the connoisseur of all the, the pop the pop culture trivia. Uh, I, so that so that's, I mean, you know, I, I give you, I'll give you the title on that. I'll give you the title on that. 90s music, I, I think I can keep up. I think it's um, all about but, what we absorb. Could like be. we we absorb we absorb different things. Like I said, a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. Like like I said, I've not watched that since I was a kid. You know, and I probably wasn't yeah. half paying attention. You know, no, so so yeah. like so like absorbing the lines and stuff. That's that's just something where I was like, hmm, we're watching this because that was something. You know, that it was on NBC every year. You know, Donna Reed you was know. in that movie. A very beautiful young Donna Reed. Not that. Not to say that she wasn't beautiful when she was older. I get. You, I get. You, I understand. Very what beautiful saying. Donna Reed. Wow, yeah. about that. Yes. yes. Wow. Uh, Donna Reed wow. no longer with us. And also right. Barbara Walters no longer yeah, with that us. Happened yesterday. 93 years old. And uh, Barbara Wawa and no longer with us. Uh, no. Who, who, who had a, a, a tiny speech impediment with a strong accent. I mean, so it was kind of a, a thing, but made fun of herself all the time. Thought it was hilarious. Mm-hmm. Uh, and did, and not, not like super. I mean, you, you couldn't really pick up on it. Pick no, up on no. It. Um, people then, love to do interviews with her. She did some of the biggest interviews and Howard Stern loved her, had her on his show several times. And like, he would actually come do the view basically just because of right, Barbara. Right. And cause they, I think a lot of people did the view just because of Barbara. Yeah. Cause the other people on there, huh? That's, that shows such a stupid. Well, it's right? gone. It's gone. When, when, you know, when she kind of went, moved away from it, it just went, yeah, it's gone down. She stayed on and produced for several down. years. Uh, she was on there at 2014 was her last appearance on the show. Yeah. And she did some other interviews and stuff too, but uh, yeah, 93, Barbara Walters. We've lost a lot of people this year, man. Ray Liotta. We lost some really good people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, Ray, I know. No, no, it's just, this is, you know, how you can tell you're getting old when, you know, all these people you, you know. That you've been around for forever. Yeah. It's all right. Nobody's, David, nobody's David Hasselhoff, as of this morning, is doing just fine, though. It's good. It's He's so eating everybody. a cheeseburger. He's feeling good. Christmas um, Eve. So uh, we talked about Christmas and our favorite yes. gifts. You got yourself a gift this year, too. Well, which, so, which, I, which I'm very excited about. We've made fun of Doc's phone so, so much on the show, so, even to the point where I'm like, hey, doctor, can I loan you a few bucks? And right, then you come rocking right. the, the, the iPhone 14. The, the iPhone 15. 14, 14, 14, 14. 14. That's right. It's an S because, you know, I like the S. <laughs> That's right. You got the S. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Oh! That's right. So, so it, it you know it came down. It, it, it basically it was just time. Yeah. And so the iPhone 8s got retired, <laughs> and and so so As yeah so 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 we got we got a new phone. I really like the phone. I've got the Face ID set up. That was a big deal because I was like, oh oh. Of course, with COVID, they have it. You can actually do it with a face mask. I did not do that because I yep. like that just yep. seems kind of odd. What color did you get? Um. Space black. Is that Space gray. Space gray. No, Space no. I got the black one. What's the black one? The black is, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I got black. You got black. Yeah. Got there, black. There's like a space. Always, always bet on black. Always bet on black. Yeah. That's right. Are you sure it's not space black? There's, there's a space gray. I don't think there's a space black. There's a black one though in there. There, there, there are, there I did are not, some. Models. I did not get the gray. My model, of course, is the iPhone nice, colors. This nice red iPhone shade. iPhone colors. I swear it's space black. Maybe not. I mean, that shows you what I know, right? I mean, come on now. Space gray's been a thing for years with Apple, so. Space black. Boom. Take that. Look at you. One yeah. for team. Have no idea about modern technology. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I knew. Okay, yeah, so it is space black. Silver, cool. of course. Yeah, deep purple, which I was not. No, we're not. That, that Don't say it. It's just leave that be. Um, um, that's all kinds of bad. Um, yeah, so, you know, so I got, got my space black. Of course, I got the regular, you know, just the, the straight up fourteen because yep. you know the pro with the three cameras. I mean, that's just too much. It is, you know. Um, so I don't, I don't really know, but um, it's really nice. It handles everything, of course. So I go in, yeah, and and the manager was very actually very helpful at the AT and T store. Very nice. Yeah, she she was great. They were super busy. Um, but you know, it was like Christmas Eve, and she actually helped me, you know, because she was kind of just floating doing all the things all the things and she actually let me sit down and go with her because i think she probably realized that <laughs> i needed some help um you know and we also uh we, we we did end up um you know getting getting the girls the the you know get getting them a tablet you know so that was nice too yeah. so they're they're excited about their ipad 
Um, and so I was getting that as well. Of course, Laura had already worn out the assistant manager the day before asking all these questions. Of and course. Things. Um, anyway, so I sit down and we're talking. So, yes, sir, what, what are you here for? And I was like, I'd like to get an iPhone. And, and she's like, do you have any? And I was like, oh, I want the 14. Yes. I would like the 14. Yes, please. Um, and she kind of, you know, she gives me a look because and, and, she sees my 8S. Um, <laughs> and, and so... And, and and we talk about it and I was like I want it in black you know because yeah. you know that's it's just you know it's what we want does it come in black it's like Batman's car um, does it come in black <laughs> um, anyway does it come in black and so 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 we're looking and so and and, and I mentioned just happened to mention I said well, you know the 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 data plan you know the the two hundred fifty six gigabytes and that's where she kind of just gives me another look and she has has a nice pause very professional right. very nice and she goes well. Sir, with your um, iPhone 8, <laughs> I really have to say, I think 128 gigabytes would be plenty for you. And you'll be just fine with, an, with, a, with a regular iPhone 14. Now, you know, she obviously wanted to make this sale. I'm obviously going to buy this. So it was pretty much a sure thing, you right. know, as sure right. as a sure thing can be. Um, but that, that in that moment, I, I was like, it's one of those like she's making fun of me just a little bit because sure. I mean, you know, <laughs> there's a there's a kid that's you know barely off the boob and he's sitting there, you know, got his iPhone 14 that's Pro, right. that's you right. know, calling Mars or whatever and here I am I'm just like, yeah. And then so so yeah, so with with your iPhone 8, I think 128 gigs is is going to be plenty for you. So then she doubles down on it. Yeah. And then, so then, of course, we, you know, she gets it. We're doing the thing. And she goes, um, knowing she knows the answer to this question, she goes, are you going to be all set to transfer your data or do you want me to help you do that? <laughs> <laughs> and I should have said, oh, Dave Mann will help me do this right. at, at my That's right. and, and I looked at her and she couldn't help. She did chuckle just a little bit and, and she was super cool. Um and she, and I said, Really? <laughs> and I said, I'm gonna sit here until all of this transfers and I'm gonna pull it up and make sure that it all worked because there ain't no way on this earth that I'm gonna do this myself. Right. Um so so that was another that was a good moment. So yes, yeah, so we get the phone, get it all rocking. It took forever. It yeah. was like 30 minutes yeah. to do the day trip. So we're just hanging out. We're talking. You know, she's talking about how she does her friends miss with her with her friends and everything. And, yeah. You know, all the stuff. And, you know, we talk about all, all, you know, my three kids and, you know, all the things. I'm like, this is very interesting. Um, this is probably why people just go ahead and do the data transfer themselves. Um, <laughs> I, and then I couldn't remember my Apple password. That's a problem. So, so, <laughs> that's a, that's so a problem. I better, you know, and I had the, I had part of it. I had, I had the, the main, the bulk of it. I had it correct, but I, the, the, there was a piece of it I couldn't remember. Right. Because it could have been there. There was there was it's a number sequence, and it could it was infinite, right. basically. And of course, what was bad is you know I had it like in the phone, like password protected, where, you know, I can thumbprint and all the points. But of course, my my aid is now disabled, so I can't do it. So I have to go in there and type my password in, reset my my password for right. that, and then go. And she's just kind of sitting there real nice. And I'm like, yep, you're right. Um, and, you know, and she goes, well, you know, typically it has some letters and numbers in it. And I was like, thank you. Thank you for that. Eight, eight, um, at least eight characters, one special character. Yeah. One uppercase and uh, yeah. one and lowercase, and, 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 yeah. and it did, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I said, the bulk of it I had remembered, but it was the number sequence because I never type that in because it's usually I type in my phone password and that right. takes care of you know like the the digits, yeah. Um. Anyway, so that was another good <laughs> moment. So lots of good moments, but folks, I have an iPhone 14. I'm excited about it, and it is an S. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, the S is that eight. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, um, so with a, with a hit at the end of it, yeah. So you you were talking about data package and everything, but what, what or whatever it is, well, what you're actually talking about there is, is the actual is, storage is, on the yeah. phone. Oh, like, sorry, yeah, sorry. That's the actual storage available. On I have the phone. 700 terabytes of storage. Yeah, that's um, it. That. <laughs> so yeah, so that. <laughs> So, oh man! But what's funny is um, the transfer of the data stuff is like the easier part. Of yeah, it. you say that. You just log into your new phone and you Shut say, up. 
pick from a backup. Now, do you have uh, it, do you have enough storage space in the cloud? Yeah, that's I have a bunch of storage space in the cloud. Okay. I mean, it comes with five gigs for free. Apple says you can have this for free. Well, five Dave, gigs. I mean, I have enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's do, do I need? Look, I can look it up for you. Okay. I mean, maybe. I was going to say, I don't do, know. do sir, sir, do you need me to help you? With that? I have, uh, I have. TB is terabytes, right? T- TB is terabytes. I have two terabytes. There you go. Look at you. How I ended up with two terabytes, I have no clue. How you end up with it is monthly you give some money to Apple. That's how that Well, is. that has to be my wife because yeah. I have got nothing to do with that. Yeah, um, we, we've got a couple terabytes too. Yeah, I have not used my terabytes. Yes. Um, looking at this. Because as long as your phone's backed up, it's, it's... Well, you know, I messed up that one time and didn't have it all backed up and that yeah. was the bugaboo. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. But but we... No, I, that part I got smart about. You there see. you go. You look know, at you. You know, look that's at you. it. There's a little bit in between the ears there. A little bit. There's just, not a lot, but a little. Yeah, so we're good. So, but you actually sat there and waited for the whole transfer to happen? Yes. <laughs> I told happened. you this was a good story. Oh, oh, but we talked about everything. When oh, I yeah. Did, when oh I did, yeah, it was great. It when, was great. It was great. Because, I mean, even now with, with Apple devices, if you have a new one, if you have your old one around, it knows the other phone is around, and you, like, take a picture of a barcode, put yes. your password in, and that's it. And it just kind of does it. So, it's... Uh... <laughs> Dave. <laughs> I mean... And I still have the other phone, even though I, even though it still had a trading value. I was yeah. really impressed by that because I was like, "There's no way this has any value." And right. it did. And it did. Um, but but part of me wants to have like a little ceremony for it and just kind of you know bury it like a time capsule somewhere on my property. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. It just you think that's you think that'd be okay? I mean, you could. I mean, you could also give it to one of the kids to play with. You could. Yeah, I don't think it. I want to do that. You could wipe it and I, I could wipe them. it. Yeah, like with a with like a towel. No. no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you don't. I know you don't. No, because at the beginning, it that actually it did. It that was one of the things because it was like you can wipe your phone right now, and I was like, I don't think I want to do that right this second, but yeah. I probably should have at the moment. Just gone ahead and done what, that. once you have a good backup of the new phone. Yeah, because sure. it's and it no, is and it is yeah. and like I said, I went all my apps, all my yeah. pictures. There's no reason. All to my contacts. Yeah. You know the text messages. Yeah. My, my notes. Everything. No, everything transferred. No, because of course I'm sitting there like an old man. I'm like looking at it and I'm. You know, and, and, and this, you know, and so I know she's just sitting there going, how old are you, dude? Um, I was like, do you know that I am one half of the Dave and Doc podcast? That's right. That's, That's right. it. That's I, it. That's it. I have. One I, of us could have done this in their sleep. The other one. Yes. I have to sit here with you and make sure it all transfers. <laughs> that is correct. Yes, ma'am. Well, there is. A, yes, so ma'am. it's funny you say, like we're talking Listen, about. You don't this. have to gash me any deeper. I no, know. no, this I is know. not about that. This is about the other side of that. And like I was. Vista print. I, I was telling, I was telling Steven this the other day. One of the, so, uh, uh, I mean, I'll, this happens a lot where <laughs> I walk in the door and something's not working. And immediately, no one's asked how my day was, and what care. I have to do, they don't care. or, you know, if I need to run to the restroom, or... Oh, no. You know, there's no time for that. Because I do have a 50-minute commute there's, there's, from work. That's okay. So I get home, and the minute I walk in, here's the list of things that are not working. And when I touch them, they work. And they're like, well, they just work when you touch them. Like, no, it's because I did it correctly. <laughs> and... So there, there is a bit of a burden to be a tech guy. I mean, it really is because everybody here, the two things, right? One, they want you to work on everything they have. And sure. two, they just assume no matter what the problem is, no matter how severe that you you're going to fix, fix it, you're going to fix and it. And sometimes, you know, you get things and you're like, this is a piece of crap. Like I can't fix this. Right. There's, like, this, I can't, this, you know, this is not salvageable. It's like, how, how would you fix this? I would have bought something years ago. <laughs> That's how I would have fixed it. But it's funny because like that that happens all the time, like to me personally, and you know I, I don't mind working on people's stuff. And I like, get you. No, I get you it. You know, I mean, right, no, right, right. We're happy to help. Right, we want to help. Mine, his we want to do the right his, thing. His mom's computer was kind of messed up, and he was going to take it to Best Buy. I'm like, dude, don't take it to Best Buy. Just bring it by the house, and I'll work on it for free. It's not a big deal. I don't want any money for it. I don't, you know. And it took me like 15 minutes. Right, it took no time at all. But the worst is when I come home because of the family. They're the worst. I didn't know this was going to elicit a rant. I oh, kind of, I kind of like. Oh, I like it. This is. I mean, good. I walk in the door and it's stuff. just, it's like here, this doesn't work. Here, this doesn't work. Here, this doesn't work. And it's like, 
And most of the time, it's in an immediate situation. Like Lindsay's getting ready to leave. And like, and hey, I can't be, leave until this and, works. And it has to be fixed. And and I'm already late. So fix this under the gun right now. That's and about like, right. And I'm like, what? Can you, can, please. Like, you know, it's like, well, can you set this up? Can you set this up? And I hear people say, well, Dave can do anything. Well, that's not true. I can't. If, if I had those kind of powers. It's kind of like that 89-year-old new patient that comes to you or comes to me. <laughs> and it's like, you know... You have actually outlived the, the the life expectancy by over a decade. Yeah. So kudos, and the and the family is just like this, and you're like, <laughs> we we ain't turning this around. You realize we're closer to the end than the beginning. Right. I mean, that's just the way it is. Like you coach for 42 years, you know, like coach. K, I mean, you can't go back to the beginning again. It, no. it just it doesn't work that way. Yeah. So I, I feel you. I get it. it's like yeah. yeah, we can't really that that I can't turn around. That I can't turn around. Yeah, and it's and you know so it and it's 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 a lot of pressure sometimes because like you don't you don't, particularly with family right because you're like I don't want to jack this up right I mean if it's my own stuff right. I don't care you right. know but right. I got a shed full of stuff that I can make work right but when it's somebody else and I work on their laptop or something then I'm always like man I don't want to jack anything up and the and and the worst and the worst thing the worst thing and this has nothing to do with family but this has happened to me a few times where someone has something uh, and they've lost their pictures or something, something that's, you know, memorable to them or whatever, or I'm right. working, working on a device that has their pictures on it where they can't get their pictures off. And in order to, in order to see that it actually worked, I, I do have to sift through pictures sometimes. And right. it always makes me nervous because I don't know what right. I'm going to find. Right. I used to work in a photo lab. Right. Oh, wait, and we've, yeah, we've right. talked about so that photo lab. When someone says, here's all my pictures, uh, there's there's nothing in there you shouldn't be able to see. And I'm like, that that's pretty vague. Like, I need I need a guarantee that, yeah. like, I'm it's not like going to see It's like something. your butt crack really isn't something I yeah. wanted to know about. Because sometimes people take a picture, like, and they're holding the phone funny, and then they take another picture right after, and all they remember in their head is the good picture they took of everybody going, like this, not the one where somebody's hands down somebody's shirt or right. you know whatever. Right. That's I guess that's extreme. Speaking of that, did you see? I, sorry, I have to. No, you. you're fine. Did you see in the Orange Bowl? Did you see after like the first quarter the UT guy that I mean obviously he's still drinking. He lifted his shirt up <laughs> to expose his nipples, <laughs> and and I was like, what is this? I mean, of course they cut from the camera pretty quick, but it was right. just. Right there, he's like he's like sitting at the fifty yard line. He just, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, we're back. I guess there was you a, know uh, there was a couple years ago on an ESPN primetime college game at night. They were cutting to the crowd as you know Chris Fowler is just. I mean the guy's like his he his voice is like just butter right just move and he goes except I hate him you know it's like. It's uh, you know fourteen all, and we come back, and the uh, the Knowles get the ball back to see right. what kind of damage right. they could do, right? Right, whatever, right? And the camera's panning out, and it's like the crowd like waving at the camera or whatever, and the girl grabs her boyfriend's crotch. Oh, nice! That's and nice. and then realizes like she like she did it. She's like, oh, this will be funny to do on camera. Oh, my parents watched it or something, right? And then like immediately she moves it, and the look on his face is like. What's wrong with it's you? Like, what are you doing? Like, he goes, he's pointing at the camera, then it goes to commercial break. I'm like, it's great. That's hilarious. It's great. But I mean, so it is, it is kind of, you know, hard to work. Or you have the that. World Cup when Argentina wins, and Argentina, there's this, you know, <laughs> rather large breasted woman like standing up, like, I don't know how she's even doing this, like front row, no tops on. Of course, yeah. I mean, ESPN, because there's time delay, they, they have yeah. blocked it out, you know, but I'm like, <laughs> Go Argentina, I guess. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's like congratulations. You're still not better than Pele. Take that. Congratulations oh, to Pele your Pele died. Pe- Pele God died too. Almighty. Pele. Everybody's going down for the dirt now. ESPN, the way they pronounce Pele, and that's not his real name. His real name no. is long, but yeah, but I, I, I'm not even going to try. They yeah. were pronouncing it uh, Pele. Yeah, PLA. PLA or something like that. And I'm like, you got, what the hell is wrong with you? Shut up. It's Pele. I mean, right. It's Pele. Yeah, shut up. We don't need to, yeah. Pele. PLA. He was 82. 82. 82. Yeah, had cancer. Yeah. And he like fought it back for several years. Yes. It was like colon yes. cancer, right? Yeah, it was colon cancer. Mm-hmm. Which is, I mean, that's kind of a death sentence, isn't it? Colon cancer is a rough deal. I mean, I mean, the good news is there are some really good treatments. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when it's you know when it's not just localized within the colon, I mean, you really you, you've got to really be diligent in monitoring it. Yeah. 
And like I said, there, there are good treatments. Um, and, and obviously you see that because he battled it for a number of years. Yeah. Um, the, the, the hard part is, is if, is if, and in his case, you know, the treatment ultimately just didn't, wasn't working anymore. Right. Um, and, and you know, and there's only so much, you know, radiation of the things that you can do. And so they kind of ran out of options. Plus he's 82, you know, but Again. I mean, but he'd had it for, gosh. Like 10 years. Yeah, you know, like over a decade, yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, so again, that's what I'm saying. You know, you can, you can do pretty good. Um, it's just one of those hard deals. You, and you just never know because everybody responds differently too. That's the other sure. thing. Sure. Um, but, but yeah, I, I think with him probably, you know, t- a decade of dealing with that, he's 82. I think he got pneumonia too. He had COVID maybe. I think so. And so I think, I think it was like the perfect storm of yeah. badness because you're already a little bit weakened. And then boom. But then yeah. So there and you go. That's your it. your immune system's already bad, and then you've got a, right. a, a right. disease. And you're eighty two. And you're eighty two. Um, I don't know if I'll live to be eighty two. Yeah, I I mean the just the stress of like football. I don't think I'll live that far into the future. Speaking of which, since we're wrapping up here, I, I do want to quickly quickly touch on um, uh, BP. We're, we're, we're talking. We're no, we're, we're very close. About. We're very close. To the NFL playoffs, yes, and we're very close to naming a new another world champion for another year. We're about fifty um, some odd days out, or something like that. Um, y- y'all got a good chance. Who who do you think? Because when we talked in the beginning of the season, when I said who else but the Niners in the NFC, and you said, well, this team and that team and that team, and again, I was uh, some of that when I was right conjecture right. at at but, this at this moment in time. Um. You know, le- legitimately, I mean, here's the thing. Philly has had a great season. They have. I, I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm still just not, I don't know. I'm not a believer. What a disappointment with Aaron Rodgers. What a disappointing yeah. season. Um, and the Packers. That's yeah. just disappointment. Um, still like Joe Burrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, since he, they were a little flat in the beginning. They got, they got hot. But, but they're hot. I actually really like Cincy yeah. still. Um, I don't think you can count out Mahomes ever. Nope. Um, I just think that's that's nope. just Kansas City's built. They're just built that way. Um, so I, I, out of the AFC, I'm saying it's either Cincy or KC. I yep. really think so. Um, and I hate that because I love the Bills, but I did. But it's just it's just not going to happen. I for agree. Them. It's not going to happen for him. And honestly, Von Miller getting hurt negatively affected him. That was that's huge. huge. So, um, I think I think still I, right now out of the NFC. I mean, you know, with the Rams just, and I mean, I, I, th- I think despite being decimated with injuries, the fact that y'all are 11 and four. Yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be the Niners and that's not just to kiss your behind. Cause I was, I didn't think it would be them. I mean, I, you know, I agreed they had a certain, I mean, they right. definitely had a shot, but I mean, not with how things have, I mean, with the way everything has played out, you're like, you know, Trey, Trey Lance was your starting quarterback. And then we were talking about Jimmy a little bit, you know, and, and now you got mystery relevant. It's so weird. Playing fantastic. So that, I'm going I'm to go with San Francisco. It's so weird that, you know, Trey Lance goes out, Jimmy comes in, they look good with Jimmy. And then all of a sudden Jimmy gets hurt and then they just catch fire. Like Shanahan's offense is sinking in. Everybody's getting healthy. They bring Christian McCaffrey. Right. I was going to say, C- C- CMC helped And so quite a now, bit. here we are toward the end of the year. Debo could play next week. He That's probably won't. Yeah. But yeah. And Elijah Mitchell could play next week. Probably won't. And, you know. And that, uh, D, that D is pretty. Eric Armstead's back in the lineup. The, Javon Kinlaw, who's a D, beast. The D. Yeah, on the, all those guys. And then Bosa on the defense. If Bosa line. does not get, like, every possible award that can be yeah. given to him, there's something wrong I mean, with, with the system. Mike McDaniels, who was on the Niners staff with Shanahan, after that game, he said, I don't know how you beat them. He said, yep. that defense is so fast. He said, guys, it's not like they're in the greatest position. They're just so fast. You just, you, you just, you, you get they, hit. They can, they can make up for, for if, if they blow the call. Yeah. Like if they, if they make the wrong defensive call, they have so much speed and power, they can make up for the mistake. Yeah. And I don't, I don't see any um, now unless they now they could have a bunch of injuries. You know, sure. if if, if oh, yeah. they don't get decimated by injury here at the end of the season, I don't, I don't see anybody beating them. I actually think it's going to be San Francisco and Cincy. Wow, look at that! It's for, for the, the third, third time. time. Yeah, and we know what's going to happen. Yeah, we exactly we we one hundred. I'm see I'm serious. Yeah. No, San Francisco is going to win. Yeah, so I know. I mean, the way it, the way it's played out, like I said, if if everybody who is back and everything coming into yeah, if if they all stay healthy, they got it. I'm pretty nervous with about flipping it. Brock Purdy. I know, 
But he's playing great. Apparently, apparently, he was not a bad quarterback at Ohio. Iowa, Iowa, yeah, Iowa State. Iowa State. I said Ohio State. He did not play Iowa, no. Iowa State. The Cyclones. I he didn't. wasn't, and he's played really well. And I mean, and he's getting more ingrained into Shanahan's offense, yep. and they're doing things now. All weekend long, you talked about people. The, the commentators was like, everybody wants to do this now because it's what Shanahan's doing out. You know, yep. fake it to the left, right, down the middle. And I really do. I, I mean, I I really do think. I mean, he 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 looks better than Jimmy. He does, and he makes better decisions. Well, he can Jimmy. run a little too. Yeah, and he I makes mean, better decisions. He, I really do think he makes. But now, now, some of that may be what they've done with the playbook. I don't know. Um, but it looks I mean, like they've opened it up. That, a little I mean, more, to be honest. but I mean, I mean, man, Jimmy Jimmy gets hurt. What a what a Purdy great, comes in and then Debo goes down, yeah. and they're still blowing people out. Yeah, they beat old Tommy. Mm-hmm. They beat old Tommy. Yeah, we need. I'm so sorry, Tommy. I'm so sorry. I know that hurts you. I Thirty-five hurt to seven. I'm so sorry, you. Tommy. Welcome back to the Bay, Tom Brady. Shove this one. He needs to retire, man. He looks awful. Well, I mean, he's been through some crap. He has, but I mean, I don't know if it's not all self-inflicted. Oh no, I'm not saying. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Yeah. No, no. I, I, I think 100 percent it's self-inflicted. But, but that's a lot to go through, you know. And I mean, here's the thing. I really think he thought he was probably going to be married to her forever. It's like you yeah. married the like at one point the world's most beautiful woman. Yeah. And you really thought your marriage and two so high high profile celebrities, both of you. Yeah. And you really happen. thought that never works in Hollywood. No. It doesn't work. No. You don't. You do Goldie Hawn and and Kurt Russell and don't ever get married and then it works. Kevin Bacon and Kiara Sedgwick. All right, there you go. That's the only one. You know I they're mean, cousins. Of course, they they're are. like they're. It's like distant, but they're. I think they're like sixth cousins or some identical crazy. cousins. I'm serious. Come I, and they, see. Like they're like not enough to where the the the. How you, about that? But yeah, I think they're actually distant cousins. Really? Somehow, I think. Wow. We need to look that up. We need, we need a stat person. Yeah. Um, anyway, anyway, but come. I, I'm going. I'm going with. I'm going with Cincy. Yeah. And I'm going with San Francisco. Calling it right now. Yeah. San Francisco to win. I put the pressure on you. We're gonna we're gonna I, we're gonna go the opposite route and put the pressure on you. I do think I do think that a team in the NFC that I can't stand has a legitimate shot to get to the Super Bowl is Dallas. I do. I just I mean Dak Prescott Shush makes some of the worst throws. Cowboys, man. That guy is turnover prone and I think yeah, if but he Micah plays, Parsons is a beast. He is, but if if the Niners play the Cowboys, I really think Dak throws three interceptions or something in that game, and that's what beats them. I don't know. But that roster, and again, we say this every year about the Cowboys. Roster-wise, it's the best team in football. They're just loaded. But it, they ain't. But no. But if it comes it down to happen. if it comes down to just pure play calling, the Niners. Of course. It's, it's not even a question. Yeah. That's I, why I, I just don't trust it. I just I don't trust Dallas. Dallas is Dallas. Is, that's just not what they do. They fold every year. Stephen A. Smith gets to have a big old laugh at Michael Irvin's expense, which I actually think is kind of funny. <laughs> it is. Um, you know. I hate you know. You know uh, and and you know. So that's you know minus minus Michael Irvin's habit with cocaine. I mean, I just kind of like Michael Irvin. <laughs> um, but but it, but I do kind of like it when he gets a little stuff thrown at him um, because they just they just disappoint. It's it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again this year, man. Would it be great to have an old recording of a phone call between Michael Irvin and Leon Lett? Oh yeah, Leon, you got a you got a coat? Yeah, Mike, come on over. Exactly. Would it be great? Exactly. Oh, you know it's terrible. You, you know, know it's going happened. down. You know it oh my goodness, too. that was that was a different era, man. The nineties. <laughs> That's it. That's why he was such a playmaker. He was. I can't argue. Can't uh, argue with that. No. Cannot argue with that. Nope. No doubt. No doubt. No. I. I just. I mean. I look at the Philadelphia Eagles team. I don't. Better think coaching them though. With Jimmy. I, Jimmy. I mean, and Barry. They got one with Barry, but that was just because that everybody at that point knew everything. Yeah. The, the team. The team was the team. Well, and the Packers upset the Niners, and uh, and so they didn't have to play the Niners again. And they did. That's true. That's so, you're, you're. It's true. It's true. Um, you know, I think I don't think the Eagles are as good this year as they were a few years ago when they went to the Super Bowl defensively, anyway. Yeah, and I I I don't know. I mean, the Eagles maybe they're the best team in football. I don't know. I don't think so. Often the best record in football does not equate to the That's best correct. team in football. That's correct. Because you know you do play. I I don't I just I don't think so. I really don't think so. So you're, you're you think the Niners and Cincy? I love it. 
I love it. I really do. I'm afraid to make a prediction on this because I really do. As you know, no, I, know I get you. I I'm get a Florida you. State fan, but the 49ers, we talk about the SEC. I get it no, it I just get means it. more with the 49ers. Okay? I get it, man. It just does. They, I, if they stay healthy, that's the, that, is, healthy. that is my caveat. If they stay healthy, I think they're going to do it because it just they they have caught on everybody. It, it's just they're rolling. Imagine they're I'm, rolling, and you got a guy that's got nothing to lose. He's playing I mean, house I mean, money. I mean, that's what I'm house saying. Money. I mean, I mean uh, you know, seriously. You were the last pick of the draft. Well, I mean, imagine a defensive coordinator. That's a better it. story than Tom Brady. Wouldn't that just be awesome here? Oh, Tom Brady's be. going out, and now you have the next, the, you know, whatever. But, I mean, think about being a defensive coordinator in a playoff game, and you got to worry about Brandon Ayer. You know, you got uh, Juwan Jennings. You've got Christian McCaffrey, right? Who is that? Who is the same? Oh, well, listen, I know. I mean, he's where he goes. He's cool? Mr. Third Down. Where'd he go to school? Oh, UT. And oh, sookie sookie now. Yes, he did. George Kittle. Yes, he did. Yeah. You know, uh, you Kyle Juszczyk, and then Elijah Mitchell, who's a starting running back, who's just not starting for them right now. Right. And right. I think I said Debo. Um, it, 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 and so, I mean, you th- to try to, I mean, how do you prepare for that? You can't. That's because what I'm saying. There's just too much talent around. No, that's what I'm saying. And, and and a great system. And a great and a wonderful system. You know, yeah. So well coached, and you know, a la not the Cowboys. And a team um, that can score in two plays, or if they want to drive it down the field for right. an 11 minute that's drive, it. It. Shanahan that's can it. do that too. That's it. That's it. That's I'm. Yeah, if they can stay healthy, they got to stay healthy though. Yeah, but I think I, I really do. I think you're going to have a the 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 trilogy. Yeah, I really do. I like Joe Burrow, man. Me too. I hope Joe Burrow at some point. I really hope he gets a Super Bowl because I I really like him a lot. If the Niners can't um, get there this year, then 100. percent I, I just I, I really like that, and I like that team. Me you know, too. I, I think. It, it, I mean, you kind of got to show them a little bit of love because I mean, it yeah. is it is Cincy. They're not. They're not. You know, it's the it's the Bengals. Who day? Yeah. You know. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, poor you know, the state of Ohio, poor you know professionally they haven't done great you know and have a cavaliers having a little bit of rebirth this year Donovan yeah mitchell you know, yeah just in time for lebron to <laughs> trade himself back over there to them uh to try to get one more ring <sighs> LeBron. Or, let's leave that be all right folks Talk hey. about the, getting getting me upset i know right at the end too right at the yeah. end hot hot back in it we're back in it. I'm glad. I'm glad we're back. Fireside chats. We'll fire with Dave and Doc. <laughs> That's it. Yes, sir. Oh, hey, man. It's good to be back. Hey, and, and happy New Year. Happy New Year, folks. Whatever, wherever you are, coast to coast. We love you the most. It was show 37. We don't Dave like the boast. Podcast. We don't like the boast. That's it. You can, uh, Go you can grab all of it on DaveAndDoc.com. Dave A and D Doc D O C YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. You can see the blue. Yep. Oh, you can you see, can the, see new. the blue. You can see the Vista print. No, not the Vista print, but you can see the neon sign that says Dave and Doc, which is pretty awesome. Maybe in the new year, you can and actually the, and bring the four, that and diploma. And, and, the diploma right? I'll have to do that. Yeah. I can I can take a picture of it on my iPhone 14S. <laughs> yes. Because the camera works on that's this it, That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you in 2023. That's right. See you, folks. Bye. Bye.